I'm back. Might as well call me daddy, because I came home with the milk and a brand new video of highest quality. Seems like Star Wars dev team hired Gordon Ramsay because they've been cooking with the newest character designs. For this character, she may be small, but they put the extra inches somewhere else, if you know what I mean. That's right, she got a giant ass sword. Well, it was too big to be called a sword. Massive, thick, heavy, and far too rough. Indeed, it was like a raw heap of iron. This 4 foot 11 girl is named Yan Li, and despite her appearance, she hits harder than an alcoholic stepfather. In this metaphor, the alcoholic stepfather is me, because I've been drinking a shot every time her feet were on my screen. I already feel lightheaded, and I've only played her trial. Huh. <laughs> Yan Li guide. Yan Li is a fire destruction. Wait, what? Huh? What, what do you mean she's physical? Are you sure? <sighs> Alright. Yan Li is a physical destruction character. Her basic attack is a hoo ha pow flip attack. Imagine getting defeated by this. <laughs> Get it? Her skill, Spin to Win, attacks the enemy and adjacent dudes whilst also healing herself because she feasts on the pain and suffering inflicted on her victims. Before we speak about her ultimate, let's talk about her talent. Her talent does nothing. She's just chilling. Until she gets attacked, of course. What, you think you're getting away with that, punk? Try catching the 7-foot Claymore, you son of a berserk. Her ultimate, Who Needs Svarok, taunts all enemies to ensure she gets attacked. Yep, everyone attacked the small helpless girl, like what can she possibly do? Oh yeah, she also empowers her next counterattack simply by making her sword 200 feet tall, splitting the sky and crashing onto Earth, dealing massive damage. Sometimes. I swear it didn't get a hang of it yet, but sometimes it deals no damage and sometimes it deals a billion. Why is every physical character that is a 4 foot 11 girl with a counter attack allergic to shoes? Eh, probably just a coincidence. Her technique readies an ultimate counter upon entering battle, then she uses it immediately. Doesn't even let the enemy hit you first, now that's poor sportsmanship. Her traces are very simple, CC immunity and damage reduction. Every second ult is empowered, and counter attacks give attack. If you're sure, and I mean sure, you don't need Foxy and Daddy and Mommy, you can go for her Eidolons. Ult deals way more damage, counter attack ignores defense, any E3, ult gives effect dress, any E5, and more empowered ults and damage buffs. For her light cones, her signature is Money Feet, but Clara's light cone and the Herder light cone are great options as well. If you don't have any of them, sucks to be you. Just give her a random force star destruction light cone, I don't care. For relics, you almost always want this set. But if you treat Starry like your mother's dating life, you can settle for anything mediocre, like this set or this set. For ornaments, you only really want this one. Time to farm as you again, I guess. For stats, you want a crit body, attack boots, physical ball and attack rope. You don't need speed because she counter attacks on enemy turns. For her team, she works both in a follow-up team or a hyper carry team. Pair her with Topaz, Robin and Aventurine for follow-up buffs or Ting Yun and Hua Hua for energy and attack. March and Lynx work well too because they can increase the chance of her getting targeted. My personal favorite team is this one. Most of you guys will probably skip because you don't want her, but I got her early while building pity. That doesn't really defend my point and shows that I didn't want her either, but at least it's cool that it happened and you will acknowledge it. 